G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and in this video I want to share with you my limited knowledge in mushroom foraging, and how when we're on holidays down south visiting the in-laws, I tried my very best at my own mushroom foraging, only to get bitten by an out of control, rampaging bull ant. Anyway, let's just get into it. Well, I'm just down here in Barrel, visiting our in-laws, and we're coming back from the Bradman Museum. And my father-in-law spied something over at the road here, it was a mushroom. And he said, I've got to stop here. Sandra, my wife, she loves wild mushrooms. He knows what type of mushrooms to pick. And he picked a couple of mushrooms and we've taken it back. And now I couldn't help myself. There's a break in the cricket, we're on holidays. And I just had to come out here and go for a walk and see if I could find any of my own. So that's what I'm doing. Mushroom foraging. There's a beautiful parrot. It's like a rosella. See him there? I probably can't get too close because he'll fly off. Beautiful bird. Well, there he goes. Well, I'm not having much luck. I've walked probably 600 metres. I'm only going to walk to the end of this road here, to the bend. Then I'll walk back the other side of the road. And if I can't find anything, that's it. But obviously they're pretty rare. I can't believe my father-in-law is 80 years old. Spied this mushroom on the side of the road here and pulled over. Yes, it's a big mushroom, but boy, it's, a, it's good spotting. But yeah, this whole stretch, all this way I've come up, there hasn't been a sign of any mushrooms. He picked his up around here, about near that pole. Yeah, there's been uh, been nothing. I'll walk back the other side and uh, see if I can find one. Obviously, they're a rare sight. <coughs> Ouch! A bloody bull ant just jumped up and bit me on the leg. There he is. There, he's about an inch long. And hey, look, he's after me. He's coming for me. So he's about an inch long. He latched onto my leg. He jumped up. My leg's stinging. But it's not too bad, but it's. I don't think he got a good enough bite on me. I'll see if that comes up in a lump later. I didn't realise there was bull ants along here. After I'll have to watch out for that. Bugger, that's stinging. Ouch. Uh, so I'll walk back down this way. I don't like my chances of finding this elusive mushroom or any more of them. But anyway, we'll, we'll give it one last look. Still nothing. There's cow dung and stuff around here, a bit of shade. Got to also watch out for snakes. There's lots of snakes around these parts too, the deadly ones. Probably about eight out of the ten most deadliest snakes in the world live around here. So you always, when you're walking around around Australia, especially these parts out in the country, always need to be looking down at the ground and scanning the area so you don't step on anything nasty. Oh, he's a lock. There we go. No, nothing. Well, all I got out of that mushroom foraging exercise, well, a couple of things. Oh. Sore leg, because of that bull ant bite. See that's starting to well up, the lumps. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but anyway, so that's one thing I got. The other thing is that mushrooms aren't that easy to find and that they can be quite rare, so no wonder. My father-in-law Doug pulled over and grabbed it while he could. Yeah, it's a rare thing to find and uh, delightful if you can get a nice big one. That's a good family meal. Not true. Oh, put a bit of light on the subject. That looks better. It's called enhancement. 
Now I should be honest about the taste. And whilst the mushrooms that the mother-in-law and father-in-law cooked up for us was quite nice, I didn't find them as tasty as say some of the commercial mushrooms that I'm used to eating. I personally like button mushrooms, they're, they're my favorite. And I don't mind you know, shiitake and oyster mushrooms in Asian cooking and that type of thing. That's fine and in stews, but really my favorite is those buttons. So I was a little disappointed. I felt that, didn't feel, didn't feel I, I thought that the mushroom was a little chewy, the big mushroom in particular, and also that it had a little bit of a bitter aftertaste. And I didn't quite like that taste. So I'm not sure if I was put off a little bit that they were wild or I don't know and if that shaded my taste a bit, but I was pretty open-minded about it and overall I just didn't like them that much. Having said that, foraging for mushrooms on my holidays was pretty exciting and I was worked up after that experience of my father-in-law finding it on the side of the road and bringing them back home. And I was thinking, you know, this is a really good thing, foraging for your food, finding free mushrooms. And I mean, if they tasted really good and they were easy, I mean, say if it was as easy as, I don't know, picking oranges or finding a lemon tree on the side of the road, or even um, foraging for a salad crop or something like that and bring it back home, I could, I could get it. But now that I've foraged for mushrooms and they sort of become front and center for me. I've tried kits before, but unsuccessfully, but I've bought old kits on special and then tried them at the wrong time of year. I'm keen to give that another go though, at the right time of year and grow my own, especially from a kit. But anyway, now that I've seen it and had a go at foraging, I've, I've seen, I've paid more attention to mushrooms growing in our own yard and on our own property. And I can tell you, they scare the hell out of me because even though I asked a heap of questions about the right ones to choose from the in-laws and they know what they're looking for, I still am uncomfortable choosing which ones are good and bad. And when you read in the news that just the other day in Spain, a person, a a woman, a mother, died at a husband's birthday party eating out at a restaurant because the mushrooms weren't cooked correctly. They were a, a mushroom that's poisonous unless it's cooked the right way. And unfortunately, the chef didn't do a good enough job. This was at a Michelin star restaurant. You know, so if that guy could make a mistake like that, well then, surely I should not be playing with mushrooms that I don't know about. And a few years back here in Canberra in Australia, another chef also, he died himself by preparing mushrooms that he selected himself. And he was a, a noted chef specializing in mushrooms. Went out in Canberra, foraged for them, brought them back, killed himself and an assistant that was cooking them with him and poisoned a number of his friends at the table. Luckily, most of they survived, but two people died, including the chef. So again, it just puts the wind up me thinking, I am not, even though we see plenty of mushrooms here and they look really good, I am not gonna take that risk with myself and my family and just cooking them up. Even if I'm pretty sure, I think they're correct and good and and not poisonous so the only mushrooms i think i'll ever eat again would be the ones that i grow myself probably from a kit and i love those button mushrooms so they're pretty easy to grow in a kit so i think that's what i'll do this winter when it when the weather cools down a bit here in oz i'll get a kit of the button mushrooms and try them and I'll do a video on them and show you guys what I think. But that's about as far as I'm gonna go. As far, uh, when it comes to foraging for mushrooms, I don't think it's for me, but it might be for other people. And I don't wanna stand on people's toes either. So if you're an expert in mushrooms and you know what you're looking for, all power to you, go for it. 
I think that's great to go and find your favorite fungi in the forest and then eat it. Cool. But yeah, it's, it's not something that I would do and I'd recommend for people who don't know what they're looking for, just like me, not to do it either, unless you really get into it and study and know exactly what you've got. And even then, be really careful. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is part of a mid-weeker that I'm trying to get out now. I wanted to put out more content and I'm thinking of ways, th these videos aren't as time intensive, they don't take as much to prepare, but hopefully they still give out some good information. And I'm thinking that's a good way for me to bring that extra content out to you guys. So if you do enjoy it, make sure to give a big thumbs up and let me know. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.